who is in Saipan, I think. Good morning, Brian and Chris. Here's the latest making news in the CNMI. Even amid the pandemic, disability community advocates continue their mission in the CNMI to protect those in the community amid the pandemic. Here's more from Anam Posse. Take a listen. A virtual proclamation signing, a sign of the times. Love wins in the Marianas as June is proclaimed Pride Month. Pride Marianas youth founder and president Dr. Jennifer Maratita says it's the first official Pride Month in the Northern Marianas. Just coming together and celebrating allyship as ways um, that we can support our LGBTQ youth. And this month is just a celebration again to acknowledge those who had fought, like we talked about, is really paving the way on the resilience of our community that we're here and that we're not going away. Jonathan Cabrera marked the event with a moving address. Let us revel in our fabulousness and find ways to celebrate safely and responsibly during this pandemic. As happy as we should be during this month, we're in at least for a moment our LGBTQIA plus lives are affirmed in special ways in our community and in celebrations around the world. Let us also remember, Pride started as a riot, which turned into a protest. Paying tribute to the legacy of LGBTQ plus movement leaders, Cabrera also noting the value of every human life. We are alive, hundreds of years, some might say thousands of years, and we're still here. Discrimination, oppression, shame, death, and we're still here, at least some of us. That declaration drawing the support of dozens of online viewers celebrating from home, echoed by organizers from Pride Marianas and Pride Marianas Youth. Isaac Tenorio read part of the proclamation. LGBTQ plus continue to push our community to aspire to greater existence by being more inclusive, creating spaces of belonging, and exemplifying compassion for every human in every walk of life. Passion for every human in every walk of life. And again, that was from Pride Marianas Youth and Pride Marianas, where the proclamation sign was held last week. And just on Saturday, they held a Ride for Pride event celebrating Pride across the Marianas. And late yesterday, the governor's COVID-19 task force announcing scuba diving shops and businesses are allowed to operate while the grotto remains closed, according to a press release last night with approved guidance from the Commonwealth Healthcare Corporation and the governor's COVID-19 task force. They announced this weekend that those shops and businesses are able to open at the designated Marianas dive sites on Saipan, Tinian, and Rhoda, again, except for the grotto. They add that the grotto remains closed until further notice, pursuant to the directive that the governor signed and the CMI COVID-19 task force guidelines. They also explained that the task force advises any divers and instructors to practice social distancing during travel on the boat ride to the designated dive sites, as well as continuing good hygiene before and after diving activities. And the latest from the Commonwealth Healthcare Corporation dashboard, as of June 26, the CNMI remains at 30 confirmed cumulative cases of COVID-19 with uh, two deaths. And uh, Saipan, Tinian, and Rota collectively have tested just over 8,000 people. The community is still waiting to hear on when village-based testing will be made available. Bring Chris out to latest making news here in the CNMI. Thanks to Moss. Governor Lulian Guerrero signed several bills into law, including the highly debated Bill 366, restoring GovGuam employees' choice for health care provider. The governor in her message wrote that she signed it into law, quote, because I believe health care is a human right. and.